Hi guys, it's Tara from HockeyWise here again. The team and I are excited to bring to you episode two of HockeyWise at Home. Here we go. Hi, I'm Jana. Hi, I'm Ange. This is Maya. Let's get warmed up with a simple around the body stick handle, like we practiced in the last video, around all angles of your body while keeping your feet stationary. Remember to use your top hand roll to assist and try to look up as much as you can while doing so. This can be done with both a puck or a ball. First up, we have our V-point reach drill. You will need to set up three obstacles in a V-shape as we have here. Push the puck to the top point on either side of the obstacle and drag it back to the starting point, alternating sides, as Anj demonstrates here. A variation of this is a toe drag on the forehand side, where you will use the toe of your stick to drag the puck down to the starting position, and then continue the same on the backhand side, as in the previous variation. Repeat this at least four to six times. This drill can also be done with a ball, as demonstrated here with both variations. The next drill we have is the off angle figure eight. Set up your obstacles as we did for the horizontal figure eight in the previous video. We will then turn so that our forehand side is facing the obstacles as shown here. Smoothly move the puck through the obstacles with minimal stick handling. Start in one direction and then change to the other direction. Here's another angle to view this from. Switch directions every three or four times through the obstacle and repeat this at least four to six times. This drill can also be done with a ball, as demonstrated here. It's important to remember your top hand roll to help you adjust for those more difficult angles, especially when using the ball. Try to keep your feet facing forwards at all times and repeat these exercises at least four to six times each. After completing this on your forehand side, you will then turn so that the backhand side of your body is facing the obstacle and complete the same, both directions and through all variations. You may find it easier to move your body position to help you adjust for those more difficult angles. And remember that top hand roll to allow for that smooth movement around those obstacles on those awkward angles. Remember to try to keep your feet facing straight ahead. Repeat this at least four to six times. Again, this also can be done with a ball, as we will demonstrate here. If you find this difficult, it's a good thing. Getting out of our comfort zone is where we need to be to improve. As you improve with each obstacle, you can make it more challenging for yourself by moving your body position to make it more difficult. Next up, we have the four point toe drag. We will start with the puck on our forehand side with a backhand toe drag. We will then backhand toe drag from point one to point two, across to point three, and down to point four. We will then complete a forehand toe drag to those same points on the way back to our starting point, as demonstrated here. This drill can also be done with a ball, as demonstrated here. Repeat this at least four to six times. Next, we are going to work on our top hand strength and control. Start by removing your bottom hand and using only your top hand to stick handle in front of your body, like so. Remember to keep your knees bent so you have a strong stance. A training aid that we recommend is the HockeyWise practice pipe, as shown here. Place the practice pipe over the shaft like so, holding it with your bottom hand, so that all the control is in your top hand and you are just supporting it with your bottom hand and still working on your top hand control and strength. If you don't have one, you may have an old lunch wrap roll that you can cut and use in its place. This drill again can also be done with a ball, as demonstrated here.
Next up is the backhand chip. Start with the puck on your forehand side. Move it quickly towards your backhand and use a slicing action to chip the puck in the air back to your forehand side, as demonstrated here. Using an obstacle can give you a target to help get that lift under that puck. Using weight transfer will help you get under that puck to get more lift. Get creative with an over-under object, chipping the puck over and bringing it back underneath, like we do here. This drill can also be done with a ball. When using a ball, focus on your control. Try to keep it nice and low and within your grasp at all times. We find this drill great for working on our hand-eye coordination as well, especially with a ball. Next is our forehand chip. Move the puck quickly from your backhand side to your forehand side and use a slicing action to lift the puck back to your backhand side. Weight transfer is definitely an important one in this one. Challenge yourself again and add another obstacle. Deking the puck on the same side of the object before chipping it over does help get a bit of momentum behind it, as demonstrated here. You can also drag the puck towards yourself with a toe drag before chipping it over, as demonstrated here. As you get more confident, challenge yourself and try the over-under version, like we did with the backhand chip. Once you get it, try alternating sides, like so. Here it's demonstrated with a ball. You may find it easier to start with a ball and then move on to a puck. Repeat these all at least four to six times. We hope that these drills have been challenging for you because they sure have challenged our Hockey Wise coaches. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more action from Hockey Wise. Thanks.